The Big 12, moving over to that conference, they announced the debut of a conference-wide pro day beginning in 2024. It will be held at the Star in Frisco, Texas, broadcast on the NFL Network, and will eliminate pro day on individual campuses and instead bring all 12 teams to one location. Brett Yormark, of course, the commissioner of the Big 12, was pretty excited about this announcement. He said this in a statement. He said, the first of its kind Big 12 Pro Day will provide our student athletes an opportunity to showcase their talent and skill as they turn their NFL dreams into reality. Through this partnership with the NFL, Big 12 student athletes will receive national media exposure across NFL Network and NFL media platform. We are thrilled to partner with the NFL to host this Pro Day, and of course, we we look forward to creating a special experience for our student athletes. Now, your mark continues to try and find new ways to monetize and bring value to the conference. It's pretty commendable, honestly. And getting a broadcast deal with the NFL for this is certainly going to help things along with whatever sponsorships they can scrounge up for it, right? On top of that, the 12 schools that'll be in the conference in 2024 have only had a combined 119 NFL draft picks over the last five years. That is an average of 23.8 picks per year. That's less than, of course, two per school. But you take away the four new schools, the remaining eight schools, the ones that are left, or excuse me, the ones that are left after Oklahoma and Texas have a total of 72 draft picks in the last five years. That's an average of only 14.4 per year combined, uh, it's only 1.8 per school per year. Yeah, you're getting more NFL eyes on the players in a centralized location. It could certainly help see more players be drafted. It could basically be like a mini combine. Uh, along with that, Sports Business Journal, moving on, of course, keeping in with the Big 12. Uh, the Big 12 is closing in on a new data rights deal. A data partner typically manages and distributes official stats to media and fan sites, but there is a possibility that this deal could also include the rights to sell data to sports betting services, which could massively improve the financial value of the deal. Only two conferences have struck data partnerships so far. That would be the Mid-American with the Genius Sports and the Pac-12 with Tempus X Machina, but neither included the ability to sell stats to sports betting services. The deal is, of course, believed to be with IMG Arena, which is owned by Endeavor, who is known to have a deep relationship with the Big 12. Uh, going back to, of course, the, the draft numbers and whatnot, I'm going to roll through and tell you exactly how many players have been drafted by each school in the Big 12 uh, going forward over the past five years. Baylor has had 12, BYU 8, Cincinnati 16, Houston 11, Iowa State 7, Kansas 3, Kansas State 6, Oklahoma State 13, TCU 13, Texas Tech 9, UCF 12, and West Virginia 9. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.